dear participants of the Republican primaries. My name is Maxim Tulenin, and I'm speaking to you on behalf of a group of Russian citizens who are committed to the ideals of individual freedom. We call ourselves the Libertarian Party of Russia. In our country, although the Soviet Union collapsed 20 years ago, the crippling legacy of communism may still be seen almost everywhere you look. This especially concerns the absence of rule of law and fundamental civil liberties, as well as accountability of the authorities to the people. In the last few days, you were able to witness how brazenly the Putin's regime rigged the parliamentary elections and the subsequent brutal crackdown on protests against this injustice. The situation is still very tense and there is uncertainty as to how the events will play out. But this appeal is not about Russia, it is about America. For more than 200 years, the United States of America has been a beacon of hope for all those people in the world who cherish and seek liberty. America helped end the Soviet Union and the Soviet bloc and has been the driver of unprecedented economic growth that lifted hundreds of millions of people out of poverty and innovation that has radically improved and transformed our lives. However, starting from the beginning of the 20th century and especially the New Deal, liberty in America has actually been in decline. The size and intrusiveness of the state has been growing all the time as well as the dependency of the people on the state. Under the latest administrations of Presidents George Bush Jr. and Barack Obama, this alarming process has even intensified. The economy is in effective stagnation because of a myriad of government interventions. In an unprecedented move, Americans will soon be forced by their governments to buy health insurance coverage. The wars and victimless crime, like producing and selling drugs, and an abstract evil like terrorism are turning America into a police state. America has long abandoned the idea of leading by example and aspires now to the role of the world policeman. Unfortunately, the Republican establishment abandoned the principles that made America great long ago. But there is one man in the Republican ranks who has been consistently standing by these principles. This man's name is Ron Paul. Electing him as the Republican candidate for the presidency will not solve all or, or even most problems, but it will be a major step in bringing common sense back to the United States politics. No matter what nationalist and imperialist politicians may tell us, we're all human beings first and Americans or Russians second. Our fates are inseparably intertwined. Unless you want America to turn into another lawless Russia, which we are desperately trying to reform today, you really need to try to change direction. You need to vote for Ron Paul. Thank you.